Hello and welcome back again to another episode of Military Advance. On Tuesday, Rostec, Russia's state-owned defense conglomerate, unveiled its new stealth fighter at the MAKS Air Show. Before the unveiling, photos had been taken off a mock-up plane underneath a tarp, the tarp was later removed, and viewers were able to gather first impressions from the plane's shape, Rostec opted to unveil the plane publicly, allowing for closer study. One of the more interesting features of the Checkmate is its extraordinary wing size possibly an indication that Sukhoi, the manufacturer, intends to market the plane primarily to the Russian Navy for use on the Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's aging aircraft carrier. Another likely possibility is that the Checkmate will be sold abroad to nations operating existing Sukhoi fighters. Large wings are usually indicative of planes that fly at higher altitudes or take off from shorter runways, like those on an aircraft carrier. For example, the US Navy's F-35 variant, the F-35C, has a larger wing than the standard F-35, giving it a greater margin of error on the decks of Navy aircraft carriers. The downside of larger wings, though, is that they tend to produce more drag, slowing the plane down. The Checkmate was introduced as a single-engine, single-seat light fifth-generation multi-role stealth fighter, reportedly capable of reaching speeds of up to 1900 km per hour with a combat radius of 1500 km. In keeping with its multipurpose role, it boasts a diverse suite of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, as well as rockets and guided-slash-unguided bombs, that can be carried in a combination of internal and external bays. The Checkmate offers a glass cockpit with a broadly similar layout to that of the Su-57, as well as an artificial intelligence-powered Matryoshka logistics support system that promises simple and cost-effective maintenance cycles. These specifications and features are standard fares for a no-frills, workhorse fifth-generation fighter, but what truly set the Checkmate apart from its competition is its staggeringly low per-model cost of $25 to $30 million. This suggests that the Checkmate is very favorably priced against competing offerings like the Dassault Rafale. Why, then, are there apparently no takers as of now? It could be, as Borisov noted, that foreign air forces are reluctant to commit to a fighter jet that is not flown by Russia's own military. One of the most successful Russian export fighters in recent decades, the Su-30, was conceived as a development of the popular Su-27 fighter, giving potential buyers a degree of confidence in the level of performance and reliability that they can expect. But the Checkmate is based on a principally new aircraft design, with all of the first adopter risks that could entail. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click on other awesome videos.